Now, uh, we're going to take a look at um, uh, creating this one here, okay? And you can see that the uh, outer leaf, be it brick or block or whatever it is, uh, uh, comes down into here. Now, I know some of you uh, might be tempted uh, to do this little thing, but uh, I'm going to show you how to do it, and then I'm going to tell you not to do this, okay? So if you go into your type here uh, and into the type properties, uh, bring out the preview, put it into section, okay? And um, we'll go into the structure here now as well, okay? So we are going to modify, and if I can find this sorry down here so we're going to modify and there it is there so I'm going to unlock that right and go okay and okay now what that allows me to do is to pull that down to 150 all right um, that's useful for certain uh, things, but I don't think it's going to uh, work for us here. The reason is that um, if I go and put a foundation um, <coughs> underneath, uh, attach it to the wall, it's actually going to attach to the center of this of whole wall here. So what I really want is a separate piece of wall there. And for that, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to do a, a rising, so you, you know how to do the rising wall, we've done it uh, before. So I'm going back in here now, and um, I am going to hit my wall types, and I'm going to pick a, here's a foundation blockwork wall, right? So I'll just take that one, I'm going to duplicate it and we will call this wall found brick and this will be uh, an ext and i think it's wall type four all right and that's all fine let's get in here now so first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick a uh, a, a masonry brick here the same brick as, uh, as what we used before. Masonry brick. I think there's, wasn't there a HP brick that we were using? Yeah, this one. Okay. And this is going to be uh, one one two. Is that right, or is it one o oh, two? Okay. And okay, now if you remember, we're going to go from the ground floor level to the ground floor level with a base offset of minus 150. Okay, now I just do a little trial one here and I'll take it up to the section and see if I, if I have this right now. So let's get into that section there. Here it is. Okay, uh, I'll just TL thin line. Uh, uh, I think I'm I am on the right path here uh, because um, I can see it. Now I can always just uh, align that as well. This one to that one. Um, show you how to do that. Modify align and it'll be tab to this align that. Okay. And it should be uh, 102. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's right. 102.5 to be precise. <laughs> okay, so that's going to align that again. And tab to this, align that. I think we're good. Now, so by having that one there, it now means that what I can do, so I'd go around and I'd put that the whole way around. To be honest, uh, whether it's a brick or a block, uh, it's 150 down, that's uh, what my detail is telling me. You know, uh, this is on site, that might be 250 or 225 or something uh, along those lines. Okay, 
no and uh, this is actually sitting in under the block because there's the render there as well so what do we do now is um, we will go into our we'll go to a 3d and let's uh, take a look at the underneath here there it is there all right now let's see if we can go into the structure and into uh, the foundation here edit and we're going to duplicate this is going to be foundation two because we're going to make this uh, approximately 300 okay with and i'll make it maybe say 400 just for the moment all right something like that and put it in there put it in there let's go back to the section see how that looks now there you are that's not bad okay so uh, i can adjust the, the size on that and um, if we go back to our section here so it's something like that there so i'm i'm incorporating this splayed piece as well uh, this is actually called up as a, a, a ring beam okay and to be honest with you um it's going to cost a lot of money to get a shutter that goes all the way around that and uh, i'll be pretty certain on site they're not going to do that okay um now I, we might be able to incorporate in a, a little bit of a chamfer uh, on that um okay in around here something there uh do I, I i wouldn't mind having this kind of shifted over uh, a little bit here so i can get some more uh perimeter insulation and again uh, tom uh, carvin would have done videos with you uh, uh tg at at tg is his uh, website and he's he has a, a lovely video in which he creates that kind of perimeter insulation there um what I might do is just make a, a, a wall out of that insulation and uh, again put it in from this position as a rising wall from that position to that position there but I wouldn't mind moving that over a little bit so there you go that's that one uh, so we could make this uh, 275 something like that there now because this is a foundation um, can I do the floor slab? Um, something is reminding me that um, uh, that we can do this. Now I'll have to have a little think about that one, and I'll come back to you again. But that's basically how we're going to get our foundation underneath the exterior part of the wall there, and then this interior part of the wall is going to be sitting on that piece of. Um, concrete there and we need some perimeter insulation here what else do we need let's see some perimeter insulation and some that is insulation on that side as well there um, a blinding perhaps we do need a bit of blinding but as i said i'm making that uh, a hole as one and um, i could always shift the i suppose there you go i could always shift the the floor over a little bit you know that distance there as well so that's sitting directly under the the stud uh, the base plate stud that's going to sit in here as well so uh, once you've i've shown you how to do that now so you can run around the whole of the building and get that one in place uh, uh, as well